walking with the vision. What is a deed, a motive, an instinct, a refined, subtle desire? This is the starting point. What is the vehicle of traveling of those desires, wills, and so on? It is volition. Where does it lead to? Teleology, the aim towards a vision. Every person, especially in magic, needs a vision, needs an aim. If you begin any kind of work, whether it is engineering, construing, learning, acquiring a skill, you need an aim, you need a vision. You may have several aims, but in order to move towards something successfully, you need to see. It is the same with magic, whether it is political magic, bringing magic from the rear to the front, from the underground to the foreground, to the surface, rectification of your soul, heart and mind towards certain aims, changing your person towards certain aim. You need to know what you are trying to achieve. Sometimes it arises in the process, but you need to be in the process. In order to pursue a vision, you need to gain methods, tools, so on, so on. As an example, if you are a political magician and want to influence hearts, souls and minds, you need to have enough discernment and political knowledge, whether of political science or awareness, fingerspitzengefühl, of understanding of societies, of detecting the patterns. Now I would like to add that there is no single mortal being that can correctly assess the situation, that can predict certain events, whether a fox with many models or a hedgehog with one grand narration and model of how things are to be. That is why we need a set of negotiators. A political magician, for example, is merely a negotiator. He broadcasts ideas into the ethers that are overtaken by more competent forces that may or may not implement it, broadcast and inspire them through the minds, hearts and souls of people. Now, there is, there is a prime difference between a despot that tries to enforce his own vision on others, a tyrant, and someone who is a leader and he wants to inspire people through rhetorical means, through making them see that he's fighting for the right cause in order for them to effectuate this vision together. Now what is of prime importance here is direction and your backbone, your spine, your set of rules, your codex, your ethos. The question is how to make the invisible, the powers, the forces, let you inspire them in order to broadcast such things through the societal fabric and how to prevent the more nasty forces from abusing it and destroying the societal fabric for their own purpose. But this is a question of both trust, honesty and ingenuity and honesty in generating ideas that during ceremonies and rites are conveyed towards the spiritual worlds that later broadcast it across the globe. Now a friend of mine, a mistress, once had a vision of a network of ideas, of a noosphere around Earth, containing human minds, hearts and souls all over the globe. And this is the perception of the gods and goddesses. They have omniscience instantaneously, insight into all of those doings. And you might say, well, if they can access all the ideas, why don't they intervene in a major fashion to make everything better, to fix things? Because human laws are different, because the laws of gods and goddesses are different, and because Earth is quite a communicative swamp. Uh, there is plenty of noise, informat information noise. Think mathematical theory of communication by Shannon and Weaver. We do not have the same effect of broadcasting A to the point B. There is plenty of oscillations. And there are plenty of broadcast points from alpha to omega that are 
majorly different in the opinions, preferences, ways of doing things. So until they reach the point B, the influenced, rhetorically influenced or inspired person, it takes a lot of practice, patience and effect effective work. So, there are two differences between, let's say, raw political magic and effective inspiring magic that works on large largest ways of the egregores of mankind. Egregores meaning collective thankful. For example, if in 2015, mid-2015, I tried to attack psionically the hell creature that possessed Trump, it was inborn, his controller that controls his body and mind, I was attacked by three shadow shapeshifters and my body was thrust left and right. I had one information, my attack was effective, second, it was prevented, three, I got punitive action against me. That was a raw, direct political action. Now, how to assess the effectivity of the greater ideas that you try to disperse through societal ideas and understanding? Well, if certain segments of genuine thought, genuine ideas began to arise in different segments of society, even if niche. That means that either there is causality between you as the generator of ideas or that they generated it by itself. You can also assume that independently people come up with the same ideas and they prove effective in pursuing them. So how to discern? Well, the question the major question of magic is to walk nevertheless, to commit nevertheless, to salute the starry heavens and to make them catalyze your will and to be a catalyst to their will. In such a manner everything is well balanced. It doesn't mean that the outcome will be secure because the world is very complex. It's a complex adaptive system mixed with chaotic uh, systems. So many things may go wrong, many things may go well, but by and large it's a mess. So by hermetizing it a bit, you move through the mess in an organized fashion. You are neither a defeatist nor an overly optimist person. You're neither a doomster nor a boomster. You walk within a real politic. And within this real politic, assessing, understanding, discerning, we may be swayed towards doomster ideas or boomster ideas, but we try to retain our ground, to hold our ground and to move forward with the gods, with the spirits, with the humans. By and large, unaware of all this, but those who are committed, called agents of their currents, because this is a battle of earth, wanted or not, and everything that will happen now will project itself for generations to come. Everything that happens in the present is defining and orchestrating the future of this world. Thank you.